Hi, I'm Linda. I'm a children's book author. So we are at Maria, which is a startup community, a co-working space, and in general a space for like people who are interested in technology to hang out in Helsinki. This is an old hospital actually, and it's only recently been renovated into a co-working space. This place even has an app to open all the doors. Here is my room. So I write children's books uh, and they always have this little girl called Ruby and it's part story book and it's part activity book. And so far there's been three books in this series about programming and about computers and about the internet. The books have been translated into 22 different languages. So today we'll be building a computer out of paper and we'll be learning about all the different components inside of the computer. So. Let's start building! <laughs> I think we have a very strong legacy uh, in the Nordic countries when it comes to technology and it might have something to do with the long winters. It's much more like <laughs> nicer to interact with the computer when it gets really cold outside. So we do have a long legacy and history of technology. We have MySQL, SSH, IRC, all of these great, great technology companies uh, that come from Finland. So this one over here is the CPU of the computer, it's the processor, it's the one that gives all the instructions for everyone else, but it has one weakness, it rarely remembers anything for more than uh, a millisecond. This over here is the RAM, it's the random access memory, the type of memory that remembers things immediately, and the RAM is the one that r runs between the CPU and the hard drive and helps the CPU and passes messages between the hard drive and the CPU. But once you close your computer, the RAM forgets everything. And this dude over here is the hard drive, and this is where you want to store all of the things that are meaningful for you, like your game results or your vacation pictures. Um, this is the kind of memory that stays for a long time, and, um, but it's also a little bit slower than the RAM, so you don't want to be using it for them, like the computer operation. The final component inside of the computer is the GPU, the graphics processing unit. It's a little bit like the CPU, its only work is to give instructions, but it focuses on the screen, because there's a lot of things happening on the screen. So that's the computer done. Now I need to get back to designing uh, apps for the computer. Bye!